Hey, what's up everybody? I've got a update on my JB Weld high temp application video. I posted this video back in, where is it? February 11th, 2016. And I basically used the high temp JB Weld, which is the uh, slower setting stuff. The JB Quick is 300 degrees and the uh, JB Weld has a 500 degree temperature limit you can see I didn't use very much on there didn't hardly put any on at all and today it is 2018 March the 20th I think and it finally fell off actually I think today is the uh, 17th I'm sorry <laughs> Now you can see the old scratch marks where I did scratch this up to uh, to put it on there. But you can see from the glue mark there wasn't really hardly anything pulling it on. Um, recently this thing has been seeing a lot of very high temperatures. We're talking in excess of 500 degrees. This thing was hitting 600 degrees on a regular basis. And the eyepiece finally fell off. It was getting so hot that the... Uh, creosote is baked on there pretty hard you can see what happened to the glue though it basically uh just kind of bakes off of there starts to get all porous but yeah it was exposed to some really high heats there wasn't very much holding it on i mean as you can clearly see so what i'm going to do is Put this eyepiece on that uh, same spot but this time I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with the JB weld I currently don't have any of the 500 degree all I have is JB quick so we're gonna have to settle for that uh, we're gonna have to wait I was gonna go ahead and add in the video of me putting that on but I at least just wanted to update because I said I would do that so this is an update to that video it has been two years and that's how long the, uh, ooh, what is this stuff here? Hmm. Might have to try some of that out. Maybe we should try another um, application. We've already seen what JB Weld did. Why would I waste our time doing it all over again? We know. Two years, man. That was with a pretty crappy bond, though. Look at that. You ever look back at work you did years ago and shame? All right, so anyway, I think maybe we ought to give this stuff a try. I'm thinking we should do it. This is, uh, I'm interested in this here. 2400 Fahrenheit, huh? Cold weld. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, why, why would we put JB Weld back on there? That doesn't make any sense. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I will buy some of this stuff. And um, I'm going to put this eyepiece back on there. And I'll do a review video on this quick steel. I'm not going to bore you with showing it in this video. I mean, that'd be kind of stupid just watching me glue something onto something. So the point of this video is just to touch base with the premise of this video, which is a uh, JB Weld review high temp application. And unfortunately it didn't last very long. I mean, two years exactly almost though. So you can see the quality or the lack thereof, I should say, of the, uh, the adhesive application. Man, dude, what were you doing? It required such haste. My goodness, it's amazing it stayed on there at all. Nonetheless, two years is pretty good for the torture I put this thing through. I mean, like I said, 500 degrees was like, this thing hits that on a regular basis. Pretty sure I've had it up to 800, which is uh, way too hot. It's like burning your eyeballs out of your skull at that point from the infrared radiation. So. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to clean this up and we'll uh, we'll try it again with something else with this eyepiece here.
But that is the update to the JB Weld high temp application. The uh, 500 degree, which takes uh, another note I want to add. When I installed this, I put the JB Weld on the, the eyepiece and stuck it on a hot furnace. The thing was actually in operation and it seemed to really help out. I would say it was probably around 200 degrees when I did that and it seemed to help the bond. It actually seemed to help the process. So I'm not afraid of heating this stuff up a little bit when I want it to set a little bit faster. I wish I had a magnifying glass where we could examine the... Ooh, hold on a second. I do have a... Uh, a cell phone magnifying glass this is what your cell phone uses anyway a big sapphire ball well it's tiny it's very tiny sapphire ball you check that out dude I'm gonna burn a hole in it I'm having trouble Ooh, we just had a really good shot there what happened could just get the lighting right here there's a sweet spot in there somewhere. You see how porous that got from just getting baked away? Ooh, check that out. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So there you go. That's the JB Weld video. Um, just wanted to uh, throw that in there. I was thinking we had some more comments than this. Good old Mescal. He's always got some good things to say. <laughs> What's up, brother? All right, so uh, that's where we're at. I'm going to post this video, and uh, if you ever wonder how long or uh, what the endurance is on JB Weld for high temp applications, I had this thing on a furnace, and I used it all the time. All the time. This thing probably had a thousand fires through it.